Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to the worst red cards in FIFA 14. This is a video showcasing some of the worst red cards in football in recent years and my god there have been some crazy red cards. As always guys, whoever comes up with the best idea for the next team builder in the comments below will win 50,000 coins in Ultimate Team. And if you guys need coins, be sure to check out MMOJ in the description down below for the best place to get FIFA coins. And let's get into the worst red cards. So starting off the goal here guys for the worst red cards in football is the Polish goalkeeper here who did a very, very funny handball. This is a Blakowski here. He now plays in the, I think it's for, yeah, in the Empire League One. And he had a very crazy handball. He decided to do some keepy ups. I have no idea why. And he handballs it. Like, what the hell, dude, are you doing? Seriously, man, what was going through his head? I have absolutely no idea. Um, what was he doing? This was actually for the Polish under 21 team against, Sp against Spain. Under 21 team. He decided to do a sneaky handball and he kicks it away as if, as if nothing's happened. But he does get the handball there and he does eventually get sent off there by the referee. So he starts. He starts I can go here guys for our team and obviously this is on next gen on the Xbox one console and I'm loving it on this console my god this game is epic on next gen it's honestly fantastic but next up we have a Kung Fu against Honda wow that guy deserved to get sent off that is one of the most dangerous tackles I've ever seen in football look at that red card guys even the referee was a bit shocked at that he gives him red card straight red card there for the Spanish player playing for Ruben Kazan against CSK Moscow there and the manager was going a bit nuts there I have no idea why because look at this absolutely dangerous as hell against Honda there who is himself a very good player who's been linked with AC Milan but very very crazy uh, Kung Fu kind of kick there at right back though guys we decide sorry centre back yeah sorry right back there we go we go we decide to go with um, Hamill here which was one of the most weird red cars I've ever seen he gets sent off here for doing really nothing I think the referee thinks that he's been handballed however he has sorry he thinks that he's handballed it however he has not handballed it it's hit the back of his head um or his back i think it was let me know what you think about this guys do you think this was a handball comment below what you think about this people he was given red card and he went nuts he's like what why did you just give a red card against me dude like seriously that is one of the most weirdest red cards I've ever seen. In fact, I probably haven't seen a more weirder red card in recent times. Um, but yeah, the, the, you slow down there a bit and he, um, hits, yeah, he did actually get hit in the head by the looks of it. So um, yeah, but let me know what you think about that, guys. I know if you thought that was ever a red card. I really don't think that was. But then we go with the next red card, guys, which was a really just horrific red card. One of the most kind of um, purposeful red cards I've seen in recent time. Look at this. Dirty as hell there by the New Zealand uh, centre-back there, Sigmund. He's a bronze player, shiny bronze player, and the referee had to prevent the other players from really probably kicking his face, And to be honest for that. I mean, that is just such a bad um, red card. I mean, look at that. That is so bad. You compare that to, like, Balotelli. I think it was Balotelli and Scott Parker a few years ago, um, but Sigmund was way worse. Look at that, man. The intent on that was so horrific. I mean, holy crap, that was bad. Um, but then we go with the left back here, though, guys, by the name of um, Mavinga. This is probably the worst red card I've seen. I think this is. It's horrific. This guy was actually knocked out from this. You can't see it from this angle, but what you can see right now is um, a horrific tackle. He was. He, this guy's actually former Liverpool player, Mavinga, but watch this. He knocks him out. Look at that. His head goes back and he knocks himself out. His head hits the floor and yeah, that is just seriously, that is so bad. Um, and yeah, this actually at the time wasn't a yellow card. Sorry, this one at the time wasn't a red card somehow. He wasn't actually given a red card but in the end he was given a red card after the game he was given like a very lengthy ban and um, then we go with Axel Witzel here though guys who for me is one of the dirtiest players in Europe this guy's a good player but this guy actually broke his leg in this horrific tackle um, and the referee took it he took his time to give him a red card I mean dude if you're going to give someone a red card I would happily advise you to give this guy Witzel a red card I mean holy crap really 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 terrible tackle um, by Witzel there and just really just honestly honestly just if you were squeamish please don't watch that if you can if you are then sorry but seriously bad tackle but then again he's at it again Witzel um, yeah as if nothing's happened and he gets a red card though um, for this tackle yet again um, this was when he played for Standard Liège I think correct me if I'm wrong um, in the Belgian Pro League be a very very bad tackle there by a yet again Witzel um, I mean just look at that you could seriously break his leg or ankle doing that probably his ankle more likely because it's low down on his, low down on his body um, but yeah, guys, this is on this is actually on the next gen console I am I've been awake since midnight and it's 8 a.m. I have not been asleep yet I'm about to go to my girlfriend right now so I'm gonna be very tired so yeah it's gonna be awesome though awesome weekend ahead but nevertheless so we're going to Eden Hazard's 
Eden Hazard's um, Eden Hazard Eden Hazard's uh, red card here for the kick on the ball boy I am I the only one who th I know it's bad he shouldn't have kicked him but am I the only one who thinks that this little tit deserved it he was cheating and he was p clearly play acting he hardly touched him and he's fine look I mean look at him he's fine this kid I think apparently this kid um gained eighty thousand followers overnight on twitter um because i'm i'm sorry but am i the only one who thinks this kid deserved it i know i'm being a bit harsh there but like the guy's like the kid's like 17 18 and he's rolling around like he's been freaking shot i mean seriously if if i saw that kid like seriously man shit would go down but um yeah we go into the next one center made here guys in the team and this is just a really horrific tackle here by cool whip not sorry cool quick not i'm talking about i'm doing a reference to family guy there from stewie but yeah this guy just completely hacks this guy in the back oh that one's hard to watch i don't like those kind of tackles at all i've been tackled like that in the past when i used to play for my team in formby in liverpool but yeah very very um bad tackle that one by Colwick. and yeah he, he why the long face bro if you see his card you know why i say that but very very bad tackle that one by Colwick. ryan Colwick from nec Breda in the edit vc league in holland at redmond though guys we decided to go with the player by the name of Arnautovic, and as good as this guy is, he has a temper, but this was not his fault. He didn't even touch Johan Amanda there in this game between Sweden and Austria, which they were losing at the time. And he's like, oh, you know, he's dived around, but referee came over and gave him red card, and he did not deserve that at all. Watch the replay, guys. You'll see why he didn't deserve that, but one of the worst red cards I've ever seen in terms of decisions. Very, very debatable. Um, but do you guys think this was a red card? Because, yes, he put his head in, but he didn't touch him, really. Um, very crazy red card and none of the Austria players could believe that they were just like what why did why <laughs> why did he give that against me man but yeah next up though guys we decided to go with the striker um here whose name is as follows this is the still sorry the gold uh, sorry the gold striker and it is um, the striker, yeah, Cochran. Um, and this is a really bad tackle, man. This actually resulted, though, in four red cards. Look at that horrific tackle there, which earned him the red card. Everyone goes nuts on him. Um, he decided to slap him and slap his own teammate in the, in the same time. Everyone goes nuts. Mass brawl. Um, this guy was transferred to Angie in the summer, but now he's back at um, Dynamo Moscow in the Russian Premier League. And, yeah, he was sent off. There's another red card. There's, and there's the red card he really wanted to give to another Hungarian player there and he gave it gives his final red card to Cochrane the guy who resulted the guy who gave him the, the guy who um, did that really bad tackle and the slap in the face but now to complete the worst red cards in FIFA 14 guys is Mr Francesco Tossi yes he's a legend but yes he is also a very dirty player I have always said that you know I love, as much as I love the guy I can't help but think he's dirty as hell I mean look at this against Balotelli he kicks him in the back of the back of the leg and he got the straight red card for that and a very very bad tackle that one that was just really bad I think he apologized but I think he was just lo he lost his um, temper there and he shouldn't have done it he knows he shouldn't have done it as soon as he went off, he knew. I think he apologised after the game. Actually, I remember, I remember this game because I remember seeing this on. I think it was on like um, Satanta Sport back in the day, or Sky Sports, one of the two. Um, but Tossi got the red card for this, guys. And let me know what you think about the team, though. What is your most? What, what is the worst red card you've ever seen in football? Let me know in the comments below. But really bad uh, red card that one. You cannot do that at another opposing player. You can never do that at all. I mean, that's just such a bad tackle. Um, look at that. Just oh my god, he went for Balotelli there, and Balotelli did scream and really. Honestly, I couldn't blame him because that looked like it really hurt. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what was your worst red card you've ever seen in football in the comments below. But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the worst cards on FIFA 14. Do let me know what kind of squad I should build next in the comments below. And I really have enjoyed doing this one. I love doing these team building videos. Some of my favourites to do. And we hit 3,000 likes, guys, by 4 p.m. today. I'll be doing a really awesome next gen pack opening tomorrow. So you guys hope you have an awesome day. And yeah, take it easy, guys. So which team should I create next, guys? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video or more FIFA 14 team builders on my channel, hit the like button below. Subscribe for more FIFA 14 tips and tricks, and see you tomorrow guys.